Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Today, we're going to talk about bottlenecks. We've all experienced it. You're driving down the highway when everything suddenly comes to a standstill. You sit and wait. You creep ever so slowly. 20 minutes later, you see the problem is a stalled car blocking the entire lane of traffic. Two lanes are now funneling down into one. Well, welcome to the world of the bottleneck. At work or home, are you the bottleneck? How many of your organization's projects have as a next step something you must do, and none of those projects can move forward until you act? You're feeling like you're working hard, yet the piles continue to grow. You're interrupted constantly by people asking you for a status report on these projects. Well, here's how we can move from bottleneck to done. First of all, take a look at the physical representations of work to be done. Look at the papers on the desk, credenza, windowsill, or any other flat surface. What does each piece of paper represent for you? What are the to-dos associated with each one of them? And are they worded clearly? Second, look at your to-do list. What items have been sitting there for far too long? What's keeping them from moving? If you need a piece of information in order to move forward, what will it take to get that information? You know, you and I do what's easy, so therefore breaking down tasks and wording them in a way that makes them easy to do spurs people into action. Third, if the workload is still too much, look at delegation. Who else can do this task almost as well as you or possibly even better? Select the right person. Spend the time to teach the person the task and give the person the needed authority to do it. Do less of what others could be doing so that you can do more of what only someone with your training, experience, and good looks can do. If you still have too much, some things simply have to go. What reports are you doing that nobody reads? What materials are you reading which you're just simply doing you no good? And if you hand it off all you can, and you're working hard, and you're still finding yourself as the bottleneck, you have no choice but to start cutting. Don't be surprised if you stop doing some things, and nobody seems to notice since those tasks didn't matter to anybody anyway. You know, there's an old saying that goes, lead, follow, or get out of the way. If you feel as if that statement is too often directed at you, Stop being the bottleneck. Use this post, use this video as the first step to get action flowing. If you liked this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Check out these other two videos and have a look at the others on the channel. I'm sure you'll find something to help your productivity go up and your stress go down. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.